it's been a while since the pandemic, but the hotel industry continues to struggle with staffing and the union that represents some thousands of industry workers. And some folks say it could lead to another strike. I spoke to the union and hotel workers who say morale is low and they're overworked with little effort being made to fix the problem. People are definitely burnt out. Jason Maxwell is a bartender. He's worked at several Waikiki hotels since moving to the islands more than 20 years ago. He says since the pandemic, they've struggled with staffing. They're not giving us enough workers to handle the workload that, that we have. He says they're forced to work longer shifts, racking up 10 to 20 hours of overtime a week. And oftentimes one person is doing the work three people used to do. I'm told the lack of adequate staffing and constantly being overworked are creating a feeling of discontent in the workplace. And Maxwell tells me that when new staff are hired, they rarely stay for long. There is high turnover amongst some of the new hires, but it's, it's honestly because the workloads are, are kind of out of whack right now. The pressure of, of staying in our industry as a worker has, has grown, not in the favor of, of the working people. The union currently represents 7,500 of Hawaii's hotel workers. That's about 1,500 less than there were before COVID. Despite fewer workers, he says they're putting just as many hours of work in. Watanabe says it's a recipe for disaster that could ultimately hurt Hawaii's tourism industry. But the problem isn't unique to Hawaii. On July 4th, thousands of hotel workers in Los Angeles went on strike. There are, you know, 17,000 hotel workers there that are in motion that have been on strike. Um, and I think that may be a preview of what's to come because they're fighting, they're fighting and dealing with the same challenges we're dealing with right now. Local 5 went on strike for 51 days back in 2018. According to Watanabe, almost 6,500 workers' contracts will expire next summer. So there's a lot at stake. But he says it is fixable. We've got to hire more people, got to pay good wages, competitive wages. We got to offer good benefits so that people can stay and live here in Hawaii and will want to work in our hotels. I reached out to a number of hotels in Waikiki for comments and I'm still waiting for a response.